going on, everyone? It's your guy, Cole Jackson, back with another episode of The Film Room. We're going to be diving into the Ravens' offensive weapon, Patrick Ricard, from the Ravens' 34-31 to overtime win over the Minnesota Vikings on Sunday. If you're enjoying these break film breakdowns, hit the like button, hit subscribe so you can find your way back for more. Before we get into it, I'd like to take a second to say a huge thank you to the sponsor of the 2021 Film Room, it's our friends over at the Flavor Cupcake Green Bake Shop, Hartford County's sweetest bake shop, your go-to for freshly baked cupcakes and many other sweet treats, as well as Lacalome coffee and espresso drinks. I dropped their link down be below. Go check them out. Patrick Ricard, folks, uh, you know, one of the more interesting players in this Ravens core uh, group of guys and someone that we've seen so much development from a UDFA out of Maine came over as a defensive lineman, uh, developed the skill set as a fullback, 310 fullback, uh, pound fullback, just a guy you love to see get in there and bang bodies and uh, someone who I, I mean, I, as an offensive line guy, I've just naturally been drawn to following his story, seeing his development. That's what I don't think people realize. We're going to look at some clips tonight or today that really show um, some of the traditional fullback stuff he does, but then some of the other stuff he's asked to do, especially with the absence of Nick Boyle. And it really shows how versatile he has become. And that's a true testament to his development. Um, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's get into the film. Uh, so we're going to start looking at some of his more traditional fullback stuff. Uh, so we're going to watch him here, pancake Anthony Barr into the ground. Boom. He sets him down and walk you guys through this play. Um, this is a typical, uh, you know, a play that we see from the Ravens quite a bit. This is power to the left. You're going to see, uh, Tomlinson, let's get him across here. Tomlinson motions across. You're going to see Tomlinson, Villanueva and powers all down block. You're going to see Villanueva pull in behind. And then you're going to see Ricard also spring a block here, uh, by smashing down on Anthony Barr. Um, so there's the pull and then watch this. Like this is just Ricard being Ricard. Bam, get into the ground, gets in there, hits Woods, finds work. Um, just a guy that you can tell just loves to play in this offense, loves to do some of these aggressive things. Um, but like that's freakish right there, just right into the ground. Um, even had a little bit of a slam on him. Uh, so here the Ravens are again on this next play. Uh, interesting thing here uh, was how much they use 22 personnel. So they're in 22 here again. And uh, the only difference is on that last play, we saw Tomlinson motion across. And we saw Ricard on the left side. Now Ricard's on the right side. And Tomlinson's uh, as an H back in the B gap. Hollywood's in tight again. And they're going to run. We'll, we'll play it and then I'll break down the play type because it was an interesting one. So there's that. Bell with a nice spin. Nice to see him provide some juice coming off the uh, bye week. Uh, so this is an interesting one because uh, this is an ISO lead. And so... ISO lead, the terminology that I was always used to uh, with ISO lead was uh, Bob or B-O-B, -B, and that's back on backer. And so that's what really separates it. It looks kind of like duos, but I think trying to create this B-O-B -B block is what makes it ISO lead specifically. So you're going to see doubles in three different spots. You're going to see doubles between Avian Powers, Bozeman and Zaitler, and uh, so Phillips and uh, Andrews here. And then Tomlinson's going to kick down on the defensive tackle. And then you're going to get back on backer and you're going to see Ricard bang down on Kendricks as the Mike linebacker. So see right there, double, double, double Tomlinson kicks out and then back on backer, bam, Ricard smacks him. And so I want to take a, we're going to leave Ricard here for a second because Watch the double team between Phillips and Andrews here on the right side of the line. Uh, this this had this this play actually had potential for to be a bigger gain. Uh, so we have the defensive end here as a six eye. Uh, so six eye means he's a six technique, but he's set inside of the tight end. And so what that tells Phillips is he needs to get the uh, he needs to provide a double on the defensive end and kick him to the outside of Andrews so that Andrews can leverage and seal block. And then Phillips would look for work in the second level. And so see right there, they get him over there. What happens here and why this play didn't go for more is Phillips is late coming off this block and watch this overextension. See how he's out ahead. Um, so he's not able to get into the DB here. But everyone else hits their blocks. You know, Ricard hits that B.O.B. block. Bozeman come, came off his double with Zeitler. Zeitler got a nice little pancake guy on the ground here. Um, Bozeman came off really well. Nice block by Bozeman. And Phillips just doesn't get there. So now Bell has to spin off him. Phillip, you know, it's, it's unfortunate. Let's see it again. Just watch everyone else making their block, though. 
is like that gets him down. Well, Bozeman banged down on him, but then got into second level. You know, unfortunate. Phillips had a rough day. Um, but you know, you like seeing Ricard. So there he is, you know, traditional fullback, and we're gonna see it again here. And uh one thing I didn't touch down touch on, all three plays now have been in 22 personnel. Uh, here we are again, completely different alignment, but the same 22 personnel out there. Hollywood came out wide versus being in tight on the previous two plays. And we have Lamar under center. So it really shows how versatile they can be with that 22 usage. Um, mostly because Ricard and Anders are so versatile. Um, so this is going to be a nice little sweep to the right. Let's watch it through and then we'll break it down. Again, another play with a lot of good blocks made. Uh, one specifically by Ricard. He just, he gave Hendricks a heck of a day. Um, so what we're going to see here, right side of the line, Phillips, uh, Tomlinson, and Andrews, they're all going to down block left. And then Zeitler and Bozeman are going to pull right. And Ricard's obviously lead blocking as well. So you're going to look at how look at how scary that is. You got Zeitler, Ricard, and Bozeman coming at you. Um, Zeitler's going to make the first kick out block here with the DB right there. He's out. And then watch Ricard 42 on Kendricks. Bam. And that that's what springs this run. You know, it's it's Zeitler hitting that 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 kick out block. That was beautiful too, but it's Ricard hitting that and then finding Woods and and you know, watch Freeman here. Because he goes at Woods and Woods has to kind of run downfield, turn around. Freeman gets an extra, you know, five, six, seven yards. Um, and that's Ricard, you know, making a highlight block and then just continuing to work downfield and find work. So just you know, beautiful by Ricard. Bam, moves on. Just incredible. And this next one, again, uh, look at the alignment. Looks completely different than the previous three plays. Still 22 personnel. We got Andrew split out wide with Hollywood. Um, you now have Bell alone in the pistol. You have Tomlinson here. You have Ricard here. I want to keep highlighting this because I think what I'd like to see more out of Greg Roman is using some of these heavy personnel that have versatility in them. And it's mostly the versatility of Andrews and Ricard to do different things. Um, and especially Nick Boyle when he's back, because he can do some things as a pass catcher that you're not going to see from Tomlinson. Um, so if you're able to kind of do that uh, and go into a hurry up, you can create some mismatches. You know, you can get Andrews alone against a DB um, or against a, uh, a linebacker if they try and match him. Uh, you're also going to get their base formation. So maybe if you're able to spread these guys out, you can run inside on them. So just something I wanted to highlight because I, I I didn't even plan this. It just so happened they were in 22 personnel through the first four plays. Let's run it through. And Ricard's going to spring this block. And th this was a typical Nick Boyle block that we, we'd see in the past. So Ricard did it too. But uh, So you're going to have Ricard lined up. This is going to be the Veer concept. Uh, Lamar's reading the left defensive end lined up against Tomlinson here, or I guess right side, but their defensive left defensive end. Defensive end scrapes down. That tells Lamar to keep. Tomlinson runs the veer block, makes a nice block. And then watch what Ricard does to, once again, Kendricks. Uh, I, I want to highlight just before he makes contact. I can't believe he didn't. His discipline to make this block and not get a hold, like just impressive. Look, boom. No hold, but, you know, it didn't seem like much, but if he doesn't get there and get that body on Kendricks, Lamar's not taking this for a first down. He's just, Kendricks is going to get him, but bam, gets enough space. Lamar uses his speed first down. Um, this is what really shows the versatility uh, for, for Ricard. It's his ability to use his athleticism and get all the way across the formation and take out their Mike linebacker. Like, just impressive for someone that's as big as he is. Um, love to see it. And now we're going to take a look at two plays that uh, I could have picked different plays. I picked these because, you know, they, they were handy. They were right there. Um, it also shows them helping the left and the right tackle. But the Ravens in this game uh, really focused on helping out the offensive tackles, specifically Alejandro Villanueva. They wanted to take Everson Griffin out of this game. Daniel Hunter didn't play. Uh, Griffin aligned, I think he played I wrote it down, 88 snaps with 62 of them coming as their right defensive end, which would put him against the uh, the left tackle. So they helped Alejandro Villanueva. I counted about 13 plays where Ricard stayed in to block and help out AV. Um, so this is going to be a play action call, but you're going to see Ricard motion right to left. And then you're going to see him sit down. And 
We'll see it a little bit better on the end zone angle, but what this does is it allows AV to have some space with his set point. So you're going to see him just kind of, so watch Ricard come across. AV is just going to set inside and force him out because he's got the help there. And so, you know, this was a play action play. It wasn't a true drop back, but you know, they did this a ton. I could have shown you a bunch of examples, but that's essentially what the concept was. It was using Ricard to motion across the formation, sit down and help out with the double team and pass protection. They did this to help to AV out um, and really kept pressure off the blind side for Lamar in this game. And nice catch by Andrews there to make the play. And now we're going to see another play action. Ricard's going to come down to the right side and again, help out with the defensive end and pass protection. Um, Lamar takes off on a scramble. Uh, and I think this play is, yeah, or is it the last play that I want? Yeah, like, I went back to the last play. One thing I wanted to highlight here, because we've heard it talked about a lot. Um, when you're using the fullback and you have a running back in there already, you're essentially only sending three guys on routes. And you see Andrews, Bateman, and Hollywood downfield. And that really, that creates a bad numbers game for the pass catchers. And it could be why we're seeing so much commentary about guys not getting open. So Andrews makes a play there. Lamar hits him with it. Um, you know, beautiful, beautiful play. But, you know, I've seen this a lot. And it's tough to, you know, when you have to help out your offensive line like this, it's tough to blame your, uh, your pass catchers for not getting open. They're just, they're not seeing numbers games. You know, it's tough situations. We're actually going to get into three catches now. Um, from Ricard, and I can show you guys kind of what I mean on the very first play. Um, so what you're you're gonna see it perfectly here. Ricard's gonna chip the left defensive end here, and then he's gonna go out into the flat. So watch. So he does that, and because he has to chip, and you have Tyson Williams staying in, uh, he goes out to the left too as like a check down. But you see one, two, three Ravens pass catchers against one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys in the secondary. Um, so this is actually, you know, ironically, this is what creates this play for Ricard. But it's tough to get open when you're running three guys against seven-man coverage uh, in the defensive backfield. So Lamar hits a nice sidearm down to Ricard. Ricard runs hard. Look at that. Churning his legs, running like a madman. Um, this is that drive where he just kind of came alive uh, in the pass game, which you love to see. It reminded me of that Tennessee Titans playoff game where, um, they were, they were struggling and then Lamar started checking it down to Ricard on that one drive. I think he had like four catches on one drive. Um, but what Ricard did nice here is getting the yards after the catch. He averaged 8.7 yards after the catch on, uh, three catches. So, you know, not a ton, not a big sample, but you know, he's taking all these check downs and running hard and that's what you want to see, you know, good on Lamar, good discipline, hit his check down, man. And then he just runs. And we're going to see pretty much the same thing. And again, this is a good credit to Lamar. Lamar talked about it, taking what the defense gave them. Uh, he's going to chip the defensive end again. Boom, chip out into the flat. Lamar's getting pressured. Nice sidearm. Ricard with a one-handed catch. Um, you know, 310-pound fullback, one-handed catch. And then he's going to put Kendricks on his back and just run. Uh, I'm not kidding. Kendricks had a Kendricks doesn't want to see Patrick Ricard again anytime soon. I mean, this is what the fifth play where he's kind of making a move on him here. Watch it. You can see it right when he catches it. One hand. Boom. Brings it in. Get on my back. Carry it to the end zone. Love it. Um, just a thing of beauty there. Something that you want to see from, from Ricard. And then we're going to wrap up here with the last play. Um, and, and what a last play. I mean, this is... Uh, this is going to be uh, the big man finding the end zone, and it is today's Flavor Cupcake Reese's sweetest play of the day. Uh, that's right. The big man is scoring for some cupcakes. Be sure to check out Flavor Cupcake Reese's, Hartford County's sweetest bake shop. Check the link down below, and I'll leave it in the description for you. Um, so the Ravens are going to line up in heavy. Ricard's going to come across the formation in motion, run into the flats. Be a nice play fake here. And Lamar just hits him with an easy one, and boom. That's it. And then Ricard, this, this is actually what I look like when I know there's cupcakes coming. This is how excited I get. Uh, you know, Ricard just tries to spike the ball into the crust of the earth. Boom. Legend has it that that ball is still in the air. Uh, so yeah, once again, check out flavor cupcakery links down in the description below. Thank you to flavor for sponsoring the film room. Uh, so let's watch this one again. Uh, actually let's watch it from the end zone. 
So again, Ricard's going to do motion, something we see him do so much. And, you know, the Vikings defense just didn't really show any respect to him here. No one follows him. And easy. And then are we going to see it? Yep. Boom. Still in the air. Telling you. Never came down. Uh, so, you know, that's all we have for you today. Uh, I really wanted to make sure that we got a chance to highlight Patrick Ricard this season. He's done so many good things for this team. Uh, you know, and he just deserves a ton of credit for his development, the way he's rounded out his skill set. Um, you know, we saw a nice little versatile skill set there, his ability to kind of play in line, fill in the Nick Boyle role. I can only imagine what it's going to be like when we get Boyle back with those two banging on bodies. Uh, I can't wait for it. So hopefully this week we'll see on Thursday. Um, but if not, probably next week, uh, when they take on the Chicago bears. So looking forward to it. Um, that's all we have for you today. Thank you to flavor cupcakery for sponsoring this episode. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other.